Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Evelisa Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with the word power limitations. Power limitations. You, you, you know, I, I'm reading Exodus chapter 3 and Exodus chapter 4, and I'm coming across a very fine conversation there. Now, Moses, obviously, he had been to the far side. He had seen the burning bush. He had been given a rod. I mean, God had exposed purpose to him, and God had also exposed power to him, and God had made him, he, Moses himself, perform a miracle by throwing down his rod, and the rod becomes a serpent, and picking it up by the tail. And then at the same time, I mean, touching his, his bosom, comes out leprosy, touches it back, he gets healed. So Moses had seen so much powerful demonstration that, I mean, if I were Moses, I would be walking sky high and say, man, I mean, enjoying the, the song, I got the power, something like that. And then something happens that is very interesting. Moses said, Lord, I can't talk. He was powerful, but he could not talk. So you know what? You are not everything. And sometimes in leadership, you need to recognize that there are limitations to your abilities. There are limitations to your giftings. There are limitations to your capabilities. And therefore, there might be the need for divine help. You are not it. There is something that will be missing. There is something that is, is, is in the system that you are not able to achieve. You, are not able, you may be brainy, you may be smart, but something little. You may think you have it all, you don't have it all. Here is a man as powerful as Moses, but he has limitations. Your ability to recognize your limitations and ask for help, that is what Moses did. He recognized his limitations and said, Lord, I am not capable in this area. That is an acknowledgement of maturity. That is an acknowledgement of greatness. Someone who is great, who recognizes my imperfections, recognizes his imperfections, recognizes that I am not really it. There's something still missing. Therefore, I need help. Well, the choice is always yours. See you later.